So this will be a very gentle joint mobility flow. Uh, so if you've been working on some of that breath and pranayama work, uh, the next step might be to link some breath with movement. So for this, you might have a pillow nearby, maybe a blanket. Um, and if you have a couple of blocks, maybe a couple of blocks nearby as well. So we're gonna start seated. And if it's comfortable for you to maybe prop up by sitting on a block or a pillow, you could do that. And you can cross the feet. Let the hands come onto the knees. And remove the flesh from the sitting bones so that your sitting bones are nice and solid on whatever it is that you are propping yourself up with. Let the eyes float closed. Start to become aware of your breath. And now maybe start to extend your inhale and your exhale. And maybe start to add a slight whisper sound by restricting the back of the throat. So your breath might sound kind of like the ocean waves. Let's take a moment here before we start to move, just to set an intention for your practice. What is the quality that you're wishing to cultivate in your life in this moment? When ready, you can bring the arms extended in front of you. Maybe let the eyes blink open. We'll start to add some movement to our breath. So on our inhale, we need to raise the arms up overhead. And exhale, lower them down. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lower down. As you inhale up, can you release the shoulders away from the ears so that we're not reaching up, but kind of lower them down, relax. One more round. And then your hands can come onto the knees. Starting to get some mobility in the spine. On our inhale, we're gonna reach the heart forward, shoulder blades come together. And with the exhale, we're gonna puff the back of the heart towards the wall behind you, round through the spine. Inhale, heart comes forward. Exhale, round, puff the back of the heart. Continue at the pace of your own breath. Complete this last round here. I'll start to do some spinal uh, circles here. So I'm going to take the ribs over towards one side and round them towards the front, over to the other side, and around the back. So we're making some circles with the spine here. Inhale the heart forward. Exhale round. Inhale forward. Exhale round. Switching the direction of the circles. So inhaling to the opposite side. Exhale round. Inhale. Exhale. Completing one more round. And returning the spine to a neutral position. Eyes can float, float closed, bodies relax. Again, just smooth out the breath, matching the duration of your inhale to the duration of your exhale. 
When you're ready, if you've been sitting on a block or a pillow, you can remove that off to the side, coming on to all fours into a tabletop. So here, wrists are gonna be directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. You can flip the toes under if you want, um, if you feel any sensitivity on the knees. You could also put a blanket under your knees as well. My knees are very sensitive, so. <laughs> All right, so in your tabletop, we're gonna bring some awareness into the arms. So fingers are spread very, very wide. You're gonna take the elbows out towards the side and then wrap them behind you so that the eye of the elbow is facing your knees. So towards the back of the mat. And really engage the fingertips, maybe so much that the fingertips turn a little bit white. It takes some of the pressure off of the wrists. And keeping that micro bend in the elbow so that we're careful not to hyperextend. So we'll move through a few rounds of cat cow, again matching our breath with our movement. So on our inhale, we're going to drop the belly towards the mat. Gaze can come forward. Heart gazes forward. And on the exhale, press the mat away, puff through the back of the heart, belly button towards the spine and round through the back. Inhale, dropping the belly, heart comes through the shoulders. And exhale, belly button towards the spine and round through the back, press the mat away. Inhale, lowers the belly, heart comes forward. Exhale, press the mat away, puff through the back of the heart and round. Continue at the pace of your own breath for two more rounds. And once you've completed your last and final round, we'll meet in a neutral spine. So now we're going to bring some awareness to our shoulders and our shoulder blades on our back. So in the same position, the back of the neck is long, crown of the head is pointing towards the wall in front of you. We're going to drop the heart towards the mat, squeezing the shoulder blades together on the back. Notice if your shoulders are coming up by your ears, can you relax them away from the ears? Shoulder blades coming together. And when you're ready, you're going to exhale, press the mat away and puff through the back of the heart, spreading the shoulder blades across from one another. You'll feel a bit of a stretch along the backs of the shoulders here. Return to your neutral spine. Again, notice you're going to keep your belly engaged so that we're not dropping the belly like we did in the cat-cow. We're going to keep the belly lift towards the spine. We're just isolating the shoulder blade movement here. So let's reset here. Again, micro bend of the elbows. Eye of the elbows facing towards the back of the mat. Fingers are spread wise, wide. <laughs> Fingertips are really gripping into the mat. Crown of the head is forward. Back of the neck long. When you're ready, inhale, heart comes down towards the mat, shoulder blades together, belly's engaged. And on the exhale, press the mat away, stretch across between the shoulder blades. Inhale, drops the heart towards the mat, shoulder blades together. Exhale, press the mat away, stretch between the shoulder blades. Continue for two more rounds, inhale them together. Exhale, press the mat away, belly's engaged. Inhale, shoulder blades together. Exhale, press the mat away, shoulders engaged. When you're ready, you can sink the hips back, walk the fingertips out coming into a child's pose. Forward, can rest onto the mat. Couple of rounds of breath here. Again, bringing that ocean sound back to the breath. When you're ready, inhale, coming back to a tabletop. And we get some twisting motion. So on the inhale, you're going to raise the right arm up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, you're going to take that right arm, thread it underneath the left arm, reaching over towards the side wall. So you can maybe lower the shoulder, maybe even the ear down to the mat. Hips are stacked over the knees. 
We won't stay here too long. So again, use this left hand, press into the mat to inhale the arm up, open towards the ceiling. And exhale, lower the right hand down to the mat. Moving to the second side, inhale that left arm up, open to the ceiling. Again, really twisting from the spine. And on the exhale, you're gonna thread that left arm underneath the right, reach it towards the wall to the right, maybe lower the shoulder and the ear. Keep the engagement of your belly. Then when you're ready, inhale, bring that left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower it back down. We'll continue for two more rounds on each side. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, thread it underneath that left arm. Right ear can drop. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, lower the right arm back down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, back down. One more round on each side. Following the length of your own breath. Once you've completed your last round, we'll meet back in tabletop here. So let's bring a little bit of mobility into the wrist. So you're going to take your left fingertips facing towards the left knee. And you might make some circles here if you want. And notice if you've lost any engagement in your belly, but can you pull your belly button towards your spine, keeping the front of the belly a little bit tighter than normal. Breath is still deep. And when you're ready, you can start to sink the hips back, slowly lifting that palm off of the mat, starting to get a bit of a stretch into the fingertips. And then slowly returning that left hand back into tabletop. Now flipping the right fingertips under, facing the right knee. Maybe making some circles if it uh, feels okay on the wrist and the elbow. And when you're ready, slowly taking the hips back, peeling the right palm off of the mat, slowly taking the right fingertips off of the mat, returning them back to tabletop. Now taking the back of the left hand, flipping it under. So left fingertips are facing the left knee. And again, maybe play with just some tiny, slow movements to get some opening on the front of the wrist and the forearm. And still continuing deep, even breaths. And you're ready, returning the left hand back. This time flipping the right palm to face up. And maybe some micro movements. And when you're ready, returning that right hand back into a tabletop. Again, just checking in to making sure that we have some of the engagement around our belly. Notice if your shoulders are shrugging up or maybe if you have some <laughs> lazy hips like I do. But again, pull the belly button towards the spine. Find a neutral position of the, of the shoulders. Micro bend the elbows or wrap them back. We're going to turn on the heat a little bit. So when you're ready on the exhale, lift the knees up just so you could slide almost a little piece of paper under the knees. And breathe. Breathe for four. Breathe for three. Breathe for two. Breathe for one. And lower the knees. You can sink the hips back for child's pose or maybe keep the hips stacked over the knees. Walk the hands forward. Lower the heart down towards the mat. Couple rounds of breath here. Smooth out your ocean breath. And 
When you're ready, walking the hands back, coming into a tabletop. Again, wrap the triceps back. When you're ready, lift those knees off of the mat. And shift the hips back so that you're in this bent knee downward facing dog. So again, fingers are still spread wide, fingertips are gripping. Notice if your shoulders are shrugging up by your ears, can you release the shoulders away from the ears? Wrapping the triceps down. And maybe start to straighten through the legs in any amount. Taking the right heel down towards the mat. Coming onto the ball of the left foot, stretching through the back of the right leg. Inhale back to your bent knee down dog. And then the exhale straighten through the left leg, staying on the ball of the right foot. And inhale back to your bent knee down dog. Notice if you start to get some tension in your shoulders, can you release the shoulders away from the ears? And maybe straighten through the legs in any amount. Notice if the bottom ribs are flaring, can you really knit the lower ribs into the core? And breathe. Now we're going to start to invite some movement into to match the breath. So you're right, ready, you're going to inhale, coming back into a tabletop. On the exhale, shift the hips back for child's pose. Maybe tuck the fingertips at the front of the mat. Inhale, brings you back to tabletop. Exhale, lift the knees, send the hips back, sinking into your downward facing dog. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, sink the hips back to child's pose. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Continue at the pace of your own breath for two more rounds. And exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Everyone meeting in their down dog, we're going to start to walk the feet forward. Slowly, slowly, bending the knees as much as we need. And let the head, the crown of the head sink down towards the mat. Maybe grab onto opposite elbows for ragdoll. And just start to allow gravity to kind of gently pull the vertebrae in our spine slightly away from each other, creating a little bit of space. When you're ready, releasing the elbows, slowly rolling up to stand, engage the belly. Into Tadasana. So let's ensure that our feet are hips distance apart. So a couple ways you can do it, you can use um, your fists. So both fists should be about hip distance apart between your feet. Or you can rotate one heel in and it should just kind of graze the inside of your other foot. So that's about hip distance. Toes are spread wide. I'm going to roll the shoulder blades onto the back, so a lot of space between the collarbones. Palms face forward. Return to your ocean breath. When you're ready, we're going to inhale the arms up overhead. And on the exhale, we're going to pull the elbows apart from one another and lifting the heart towards the ceiling, keeping the belly engaged to protect the lower back. Inhale, lengthen arms back up. Exhale, return the arms down by the sides. 
Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms, heart lifts. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, lower the arms. Continue at the pace of your own breath for two more rounds. Maybe close the eyes. Once you've completed your last round, you can take the hands over the heart. Check in with the body, check in with the breath. Again, when you're ready, feet are about hips distance apart still. Hands can come onto the hips. Here we're going to take a big step back with the right foot. Both toes are facing forward towards the front edge of the mat. So we're coming into this high lunge here. So with our pelvis, notice if your tailbone has this tendency to stick towards the back wall and kind of the belly button flares forward. But can you pull the tailbone under and pull the belly button towards the spine? And notice you might need to bend this back knee to get some more opening in this front hip here. Can hands it can be on the, on the hip bones. When you're ready, inhale the arms up overhead. And on the exhale, you're going to lower the arms, bring the crown of the head towards the long front of you, maybe straighten through the back leg. Inhale, arms can come up overhead. Exhale, lower the arms straight in the back leg. Inhale up. Continue at the pace of your own breath. And take one more round, keeping a long spine. Once you've completed your final round, you can take the hands onto the hips, bring that left foot back up to meet the right. Feet are still hips distance apart. And when you're ready, on the next exhale, step that right foot back. Checking in with your high lunge again. Notice where the pelvis is, so can you pull the tailbone under, lift the pubic bone up. That might mean that this back leg um, bends at the knee. Hips are square. Okay, when you're ready, inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, lower the arms, crown of the head reaches forward, straight through the back leg, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, up to your standing lunge. Exhale, fold forward, arms come behind. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, lower the arms, crown of the head forward. Again, continue at the pace of your own breath. Complete one more round. And then ready, hands come onto the hips, stepping the right foot forward to meet the left. This time we're going to take a big step back with the left foot. Both of our toes are going to square towards the, the long edge of our mat. So when you're ready, you're going to inhale the arms up overhead. On the exhale, you're going to point the right toes towards the front of the mat. And exhale, bend into that right knee. So here's our warrior two pose. We want to ensure that the front right heel, if you drew a line back, it should be lined up with the arch of the back foot. So hips are really opening here. This knee should be tracking somewhere over this um, front uh, heel here. So you should be able to see your front big toe. Arms are stretched out wide. Notice if you're leaning with your warrior, but can you really uh, square the shoulders over the hips? 
When you're ready, inhale, straighten the front leg, arms come up overhead. Keep a micro bend in that front knee. And then exhale, sink back into your warrior two. Inhale, lengthen the arms up, straighten the front leg. Exhale in for warrior two. Continue with your own breath, smoothing out the edges, creating that whisper sound. Complete one more round. And when you're ready, you're going to straighten that front leg, squaring off the toes towards that long edge of the mat. This time, squaring the left toes towards the back edge of the mat, short edge. When you're ready, inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, bend into that left knee, arms are stretched out wide. So again, check in with your warrior two on the second side. The front heel should roughly be in line with the arch of the back foot. This knee, notice if it's collapsing in, but can you open it up? You should be able to see those left toes, that left big toe. Notice if maybe you're reaching in one direction or the other, but can you square the shoulders directly over the hips? And we're really getting this ro outward rotation with our hips. Really seal the outer edge of that back foot. When you're ready, inhale, straighten that front leg. Inhale the arms up overhead. Keep a slight bend in that left knee. And exhale, back to your warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knee, lower the arms, warrior two. Continue at the pace of your own breath. Can you make each movement match the duration of your inhale? And match the direction, the duration of your exhale. Completing one more round. When you're ready, inhale, straighten that left leg, lower the arms to the hips, squaring the toes up towards the long edge of the mat. So you might walk the feet in just a little bit. So for this one, we're gonna do some forward folding, a wide leg forward fold. Again, inhale the arms up overhead. Keeping a long spine, crown of the head is elongated, back of the neck is long. I'm gonna do a forward fold, micro bend of the knees. You can round through your, your spine if you need to. It's not about how far down you go, we're just starting to get some mobility in a forward fold direction. When you're ready, engage the backs of the legs, engage the belly button towards the spine, lift with the core, inhale the arms up overhead, exhale lower the arms. Inhale, lengthen the arms up towards the ceiling, keeping the spine long. On your exhale, hinge at the hips, crown of the head is long, forward fold. Again, use the belly, engage the backs of the legs, inhale. Micro bend of the knees. And exhale, lower the arms. Going at the pace of your own breath. Again, maybe you just go as far as folding halfway. Inhale up. Exhale, lower to the arms. Complete one more round. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, long spine, folding forward. And we'll stay here in this forward fold. If you want, you can take um, a block or two if you wanted to rest your hands on the block. If it's accessible, you might even let your forehead rest on the block. So find a variation that's comfortable for you for a couple of breaths here. Again, return to your breath, creating that whisper ocean sound on the inhale and the exhale.
When you're ready, on the inhale, you're going to come halfway up, keeping the micro bend in the knees. Engage the belly button towards the spine. Inhale the arms out towards the wall in front of you. Really pressing the feet into the mat, keeping the hamstrings engaged. Micro bend in the knees. Inhale up to standing. Then you can start to toe heel the feet together. And come to the front edge of the mat. When you're ready, inhale the arms up overhead. Feet are wide. You might even take them as wide as the mat. And then a slow exhale, we're going to bend at the knees, coming into a squatting position. If it's accessible to you, you might continue to go so that you come all the way into a malasana squat. If this is not accessible for you, like it is not for most, you can take a block on any of the heights and you can even sit on the block here. So find a variation that's good for you. Might even be a chair. It's going to take the elbows to the inside to the knees and use the elbows to kind of take the knees wide. Hands are at the heart center. Spine is long so notice if you're rounding through the back here that can you really reach the heart forward towards the wall in front of you. Shoulders relax away from the ears. Now you're going to take the left fingertips out towards the left. You can either grab onto the shin or if it's accessible, you can uh, be touching the floor on the outside edge of the left mat. When you're ready, you're going to inhale the right arm up. And exhale back to center. Inhale, extend the right fingertips out. Left arm comes up. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, twisting to the right. Exhale, to center. Inhale, extend to the left. Exhale, to center. Inhale, open to the right. Exhale to center. Inhale, open left. And exhale to the center. If you're sitting on a block, you can move it. We're going to come to seated. So adding a little bit of core work, our feet are going to be flat onto the mat. Hands can be on the knees here. When you're ready, you're going to inhale the arms up, spine is long, crown of the head towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, start to roll the spine down, slowly, slowly, using the core. Inhale, arms up overhead. And on the exhale, start to reach forward, reach, 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 reach. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll. Slow, 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 slow. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, reach. Reach forward, 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 forward. Inhale, arms up. Let's continue for three more rounds. And smoothing out the breath for this last one here. We'll meet on our backs. And we can bring the knees in towards the chest. Maybe make some small circles with the knees to massage the lower back. And switch the direction of the circles. Ready, ready, keeping the right knee towards the chest, so you're going to lower the left foot down to the mat. If this is enough for you, you can stay here or you can extend that left foot long. Both feet are flexed. Inhale, 
We're gonna really gonna straighten through that right leg in any amount. You can keep a micro bend in that knee. Maybe grab onto the back of the thigh. If it's accessible, you could even maybe take your peace bend fingers and wrap it around that right big toe. We're gonna ready. Inhale the knee back towards the chest. So then extend that leg long. Now inhale the opposite knee towards the chest. Exhale, extend that left leg long, keeping a micro bend in that knee if you need to. Either grabbing onto the back of the hamstring or maybe even grabbing peace sign fingers to the big toe. When you're ready, inhale that left knee towards the chest. Both feet are flexed. And exhale the right leg long. Let's go to one breath per movement, two more rounds on each leg. Inhale the right knee towards the chest. Exhale, keep the foot flexed, extend the leg long. Inhale the knee to the chest. Exhale the right leg long. Inhale, bring the left knee to chest. Exhale, extend the left heel towards the ceiling. Inhale, the knee to chest. Exhale, that leg long. One more round on both sides. Notice if your lower back is peeling off of the mat, but can you engage the belly button so that that spine comes down flat onto the mat? Inhale, the right knee to chest. Exhale, the leg long. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, right leg long. Last side, inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Inhale, left knee to chest. And exhale, the left leg long. Go ahead and inhale the right knee towards the chest. Taking the left hand on the outside of the right knee, we're going to slowly take it over towards the left for a spinal twist. Notice if that right shoulder starts to peel off of the mat, can you encourage the left shoulder towards the ground? Maybe open up and cactus that right arm. And just breathe here. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. If you'd like, you can extend that right foot in any amount to increase the intensity of the stretch. When you're ready, engage the belly as you bring the right knee back towards the chest. Exhale, bring the left knee in towards the chest. Extend the right leg long. Taking the right hand to the outside edge of the left knee. And on the exhale, take that left knee over towards the right. Again, notice that the left shoulder comes off of the mat. Can you encourage that left shoulder to open, even if that means this knee is going to lift? Maybe cactus that left arm. Maybe even gaze over towards the left. Keeping both feet flexed. Again, if you'd like to up the intensity, you can straighten the left leg in any amount. Again, we can continue deep, even ocean breath. When you're ready, engage the belly. Inhale the left knee back towards the chest. Bringing the right knee to meet the left. One last stretch here. We're going to take the left foot down onto the mat. Right foot can step onto the left thigh. We're going to open the right knee over towards the right. If you'd like to go for a different pigeon variation, if you know that, another hip opener, you're welcome to do so. So from here, you're going to take that left thigh and lift the right foot towards the face. 
You can stay here, or you might thread the needle, taking the right hand underneath the right shin. Maybe grab onto the back of the left thigh. Again, both feet are flexed here, particularly your right foot to keep the right knee safe. If it's accessible, you can even take the hand and cross them over the front of the left shin, keeping that right knee open towards the right. Let the eyes float closed. Continue with your ocean breathing. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. When you're ready, if you took a bind, you can release the bind, taking the left foot back down to the mat. Inhale the right knee towards the chest. With exhale, lower the right foot to the mat. Switch into the second side. This time, left foot will come onto the right thigh. Go ahead and take this left knee. It's going to gently open towards the left in any amount, keeping this left foot flexed to protect the knee. You can start to lift the right foot off of the mat in any amount. This might be enough here, or you can thread the needle by taking the left hand underneath that left shin, maybe grabbing onto the back of the right thigh, or even the front of the left shin. Again, keeping that left foot flexed. Eyes can float closed, shoulders release away from the ears. Release any tension from the jaw or between the eyebrows. When you're ready, if you took a bind, slowly release the bind, lowering the right foot back down to the mat, hugging the left knee in towards the chest, and lowering the left foot down to the mat. When you're ready, you can take the knees into the chest again, maybe some small circles to massage the lower back. We're going to take the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself one last massive hug. And when you're ready, we'll start to release into the, the feet coming down onto the mat. Arms are going to be long by the side. So moving into a couple uh, rounds of bridge pose. On the inhale, you're going to press the hands into the mat, lifting the hips off of the mat. Then we'll hold here. The back of the neck is long, chin is towards the chest, belly's engaged. One more long inhale. And on the exhale, lower the hips down towards the mat. We'll do one more round of bridge. If there's another variation of this bridge or a more um, intense back bend that you'd like to take, you're welcome to do so. When you're ready, inhale, lifting the hips off of the mat. Knees are pointing towards the wall in front of you. Back of the neck is long, chin is towards the chest. If you're feeling stable here, you might even raise the arms up overhead. Creates a little bit more space and elongation in the back of the neck. Keeping the belly engaged. Breathing deep. And on the next exhale, slowly lower the hips back down towards the mat. Bringing the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself one last hug. Maybe tense up every muscle in your body, hugging the bones. And when you're ready, we'll release into a Shavasana. So taking the legs long. If you'd like to cover up with a blanket, you can. Mm -hmm. 
So arms will go wide, palms will face up towards the ceiling. Take one long breath in. And on the exhale, release it through the mouth. Let go of any conscious control of the breath. And release any tension in any muscle. And settle in for Shavasana. Ready, we'll slowly bring some awareness back into the body. Start to invite some movement into the fingers and the toes. You can make your bold wrists and the ankles. And when you're ready, you can raise your arms up overhead. And on your next exhale, you can slowly roll over to one side, letting your head rest on your arm. Taking a moment here to recenter onto your intention. And how you've invited this quality into your body and into your mind. And when you're ready, keeping your eyes closed, you can press yourself up into a seat. Releasing tension from your face, maybe letting your mouth come into a small smile. Bringing the hands to heart center. Let's cultivate gratitude for these qualities and intentions that we've invited into our life. And for a moment that we gave ourselves to connect with our mind and our body. I wish you peace, I wish you happiness and joy. Thank you for practicing with me today. Bye.